Selling an item. Once you've selected your associate and your customer to sell an item, if you have a barcode scanner, you could just scan the barcode. For our purposes, I am going to hit the sell item button. Sell item will bring a lineup on the screen and will allow you to type your item number from the tag into the system. So if I type in my item number, when I hit tab, it will find that item. It'll bring up the picture and the description. It will also show you the retail price, the tax, and the total for that one item. When you are selling an item, you can change the price of that item in four ways. You can change it by a discount percentage by typing it here. You can take a dollar amount off by typing that here. You can change the price by going to the price and just typing a new price. You can also go to the price after tax and change the price after tax. So if I was to type 400 here, it would readjust the pricing so that after tax, it will be $400. When selling an item, if you have care plans in your system from either Jewelers Mutual or Montage, your care plan pricings would show up here. If I was selling them a lifetime care plan, I would select that and that would be added to my sale. To finish this transaction out, since there is money owed, I would have to tell the system how they're paying for this transaction. Our payment buttons are down the bottom left. If they're giving me some cash and the rest on credit card, I can hit my cash button, type in how much they're giving me, and click OK. It will show in the tendered area. It will also show as tendered on the right, and our balance remaining will show here. You will not be able to hit the done button until you finish this transaction by giving it the full amount of money. So, in order to get the done button to activate, I have to finish paying. If I go to credit card, there's two things that can happen. One is I don't have my credit cards integrated. And in that case, it's just asking how much. It's asking for the last four digits of the card you're using, what type of card you're using, and then the expiration date. This is just to make sure that you're taking a card that's valid and you'll always have a reference of what card they used. So if you did need to return it to the card, you know which card to use instead of just a visa. It will also show the name of the customer here, which can be changed if it's spelled differently on the card. At this point, I can click OK and it will let me through. If you were using an integrated credit card processor, the only thing you would type is the amount. And when you click OK, it would activate your credit card terminal and the customer would swipe their card or insert their chip and it would come back whether it's approved or not. If it does get approved, or in our case, we have an outside system, once you click OK, the payment will show up here. Now that the total due, which is for today, is zero down here, I now have the ability to hit done. Until I hit done, I can make any adjustments to the screen that I'd like. So if the pricing was wrong, the customer was wrong, I could still make those adjustments. If I wanted to add a Y in, what brought the customer in, I could choose that from the dropdown. Y in can also be required in system options. So if I try to hit done without putting that in, it would force them to put it in. At this point, if I'm finished, I would hit done. If you have Podium integration, it will now ask if you want to send a review either by cell phone, which is text, or email. If you do, you hit send. I'm going to hit do not send for now. And at this point, I can decide whether I want to print, email, or preview. Preview will let you print, email, and preview all at the same screen. So we're going to hit preview. When the preview screen comes up, it will show you what the receipt will look like. 
you cannot change the receipt from here. What you can do is decide whether you want to print the receipt, email the receipt, or print a gift receipt. You can also do any combination of those three until you hit cancel. The receipt will show your store information if you don't have pre-printed receipts. It will show the receipt number, the date and time, what associates assisted the customer, the customer's information, and anything that happened. So in my case, it will show the item we sold, the price, the care plan, the price, the subtotal, tax and total, and then it will show the tender. Once we've hit print, email, or gift receipt, when we hit cancel, it does bring us right back to the point of sale for our next transaction.